Hey, this is Alan Fisher from ArmWrestlingWorldwide.com, and this is our arm wrestling training video. And we're going to work on an exercise that is called pronating. Uh, pronating for arm wrestling is uh, very important. And actually, uh, this is one of the questions I get the most: is how do you build up your forearm? And this is a great forearm exercise. Also, great for arm wrestling competitions, where you can take control of somebody's hand and wrist with the amount of pressure you're going to apply uh, on on their hand. Great for top rolling, great for over the top, great for loading. So uh, this device here that we're going to use to strap around our hand, you want to zoom in on that one, Randy? You okay. See it uh, just simply something we can clench down. It's got a ring that we connect to. Uh, this is the arm developed by James Jerome. We've got our yellow and orange tube on there. Uh, it's a, a lot of pressure um, for people that aren't strong in that way. So Greg, step up to the table. We're going to put this on where we grip this around this, the palm of his hand, right at the top. We want this ring right about where his finger is, okay? And we want to clench this down, come around nice and tight, cutting off all blood circulation. So Greg knows it's in his hand. He's going to grip onto it. Now, one of the things we can do for Greg is we can actually help Greg develop his grip by putting in something in his hand, like this ball. And you see, he's simply got to take his other hand, take the other hand, and he's got to smash this in to the palm of his hand, grip it down with his fingers. You should feel a lot more comfortable for him. Make sure these are all hooked up. And this is a pronating move where you can see the pressure is now taking his hand and twisting it in a supination motion, just sup supinating. So we're gonna simply roll back on the hand. Let me just point you through this real quick, just like this, and stay there and hold for 30 seconds. If his wrist goes, do it again, Greg. If his wrist goes down like this, he's dumping his wrist. You're not strengthening the wrist at that point, so you've gotta keep your wrist back, not down. Greg, you're going to be able to hold that for 30 seconds, right? Sure. Yes, sir. Okay, elbow inside the rib cage, And we're going to go on nine. Go. Simply just hold it there. Don't let it take your wrist. Make sure you're using that gripping strength of yours. You're good. Yep. you got 10 seconds. Just watch that wrist. You see if that wrist comes down, you need to drop that tubing down to the next one or change the angle even. 15 seconds. Come on, concentrate. Get that knuckle going right to your forehead. Beautiful. You got 25 seconds. And at that 30 second mark, we want him to pronate all the way and hold for five seconds. <clears throat> pronate it. Good, good. Hold for five seconds. Looks great. You can let up. Come back and hold for another 30 seconds. You want to do that three times. Sip water and rest for two minutes. Good job. Thank you, sir.